Bible, God's holy word given to us into nothing more than a school textbook that will pick and choose what we want to teach so that you can pass a test. Yeah, we don't want to offend anybody. So we'd rather not offend anybody but offend the Savior who came to this earth to die on a cross so that we could have eternal life. Wow, we've got things so messed up. The struggle is real. The church needs to get back to its goal of changing lives by preaching the truth of God's Word. And we as believers need to realize that our only hope, our only hope, is Christ in us our hope of glory. That's where we get our strength from. It's the only thing that we know. Because Christ is in us, as we'll see next week, we can become alive in Christ. We're no longer dead people walking. We see that no one can disqualify us if we're alive in Christ and He's dwelling in us. And we can put on a new self. And then we can have the household and a family that God has created us to have. But it's only when we have Christ in us, our hope. What is this glory? Obviously it's heaven. But it's more than that. (coughs) Remember what is going on in the throne room of heaven. Jesus is being worshipped 24-7. Seven days a week. 365 and a fourth days a year. Throws in like here for you. You hear this loud, thunderous praise around the throne as Jesus is sitting there. And we see in Isaiah that his robe fills the temple. And you have the 24 elders. They're sitting around the throne that take their crowns off and lay it down at the feet of Jesus. You have the angels and the created beings that have eyes all around and look like all different types of animals and they are shouting out praises, echoing each other. Holy, holy, holy is the uh, lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. All power and glory is yours now and forever. And this is constantly going 24-7. That power, that glory, that goodness, that love, that mercy, that forgiveness, when we accept Jesus as our Savior, that is what is inside of us. Not some emaciated little wormy spirit. Very, very skinny and malnourished. Very skinny and malnourished. So basically, a withered up, dying, wormy spirit is who God is. If that's who God is, I need another God. Who these people are preaching about is the God we're supposed to serve. I'll take my chances being an atheist. At least I can make up a God stronger than that. Rocks out in the parking lot are stronger than that. 